Welcome to the Dan Pearl Library Butterfly Garden. The garden was planted with the Friends of the Library and community volunteers in partnership with the city's Be a Butterfly Hero program. It's one of more than 200 wildlife friendly gardens planted throughout the city that helped Sunrise become certified as a community wildlife habitat through the National Wildlife Federation. It's really easy to create a habitat in any size garden. The first must have is a water source. So like us, wildlife need clean drinking water to survive. Luckily, here at the library, there are lakes on both sides of the building. But if your garden space is not near a canal, a lake, or a pond, you could put in a butterfly puddling station or a bird bath. The second must have is a food source. Planting Florida native plants is the best way to provide food to wildlife. Many Florida native plants provide berries, nuts, and nectar, and attract insects, which is the main diet for most birds. Simpson Stopper is an excellent small tree that is native to Florida. It blooms fragrant white flowers and bright orange berries, providing food sources for butterflies and birds. The white indigo berry is a drought tolerant shrub native to Florida. The plant provides good cover and berries for birds, and the white flowers provide nectar for butterflies. Butterflies are going to be attracted to flowers, so plant different colors and types of flowering plants that bloom different times of the year, or Florida-friendly plants that bloom all year, like blue plumbago, porterweed, and firebush. The third must-have is cover. Wildlife need shelter too, from extreme weather, or places to hide from predators, and hiding spots to catch their prey. Shrubs, ground covers, and brush or rock piles can provide good cover. Firebush is a Florida native and low maintenance plant. It can be pruned to keep it as a shrub at five to eight feet, making it perfect to provide a safe space for wildlife. Also, its bright red flowers attract hummingbirds and butterflies, including the zebra longwing, the official state butterfly of Florida. The firebush also has berries that different songbirds like to eat. Bacahatchee grass is an evergreen and an extremely easy plant to grow. It forms a round clump of grass that is dense and provides coverage for small wildlife. The fourth must have is a place to raise young. If you have a large or medium sized shade tree in your yard, it can provide a great nesting place for birds. For butterflies, you'll want to plant what is called larval host plants. These are the plants where butterflies will lay their eggs and that their caterpillars will eat. Bahamacasia is the native host plant for the cloudless sulfur, orange bared sulfur, and sleepy orange butterflies. The plant also has beautiful yellow blooms. Kunti is Florida's only native cycad. It resembles a small palm, is drought resistant, and easy to maintain. Kunti is the host plant for the rare Atala butterfly. Milkweed is a must have for any butterfly garden. Here we have both tropical milkweed and swamp milkweed, a Florida native. Milkweed is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. So if you can check off the four must-haves, you'll be enjoying butterflies and birds in your garden in no time. So remember, the purpose of a butterfly or wildlife friendly garden is to provide for local wildlife. So it's really important to do it sustainably by not using chemical pesticides or fertilizers, creating natural spaces with native plants, laying mulch to retain moisture, conserving drinking water by installing a rain barrel and starting composting, or just leaving leaves where they fall. You can download the Library Garden plant list and get links to other helpful resources on our Sunrise Be a Butterfly Hero webpage. So get outside and start gardening, and thank you for thinking good and green.